you're like me and you try to capture your hunts on film, you probably found that trying to use a point of view camera uh, results in video that's not very usable. The deer or the turkey or the hog is way too far out in front of you, it's just a little blob and it's hard to see. What I found is using an inexpensive uh, video camera mounted to your bow uh, produces pretty good results if you can handle the vibration. The action of the bowstring normally produces a lot of vibration and that can produce some distortion in your video. Another problem I ran into was sometimes the vibration from the bowstring was so bad at the, at the shot that the autofocus did not know what to do and it would just go fuzzy which is really a defeating thing when you go back to look at your footage and it's all fuzzy. You can't see where the arrow impacted the deer, hog, or turkey. So what I needed to do was find a way to dampen that vibration. And there's a couple of different ways you can do that. If you go out and look, there are several good articles online. But what I chose to use was a ball tension damper system. Now this is a system that's got bulb type dampeners on all four corners. And these work in tension and compression and really do a great job of reducing that vibration that actually makes it to the camera itself. Now this is a system that you should be able to find readily available online or at your local hobby shops. And they're not very expensive. I spent about $12 on this one. Once I got it, I ground down the pieces that were in the way and I drilled the holes out bigger. And I drilled some matching holes in my mount. Now as I got in the field testing this while I was hog hunting, I found very quickly that the uh, mount itself does not provide enough support for the camera. The weight of the camera was too much for that little mount. It kept falling off. Now to address that, I went and bought some very small zip ties and I tightened those just enough to provide some support to keep those dampers in place but still allow them to use their full range of motion. To attach the quadcopter mount to my camera, I used a generic GoPro mount that I got online. So after I did that, I took some test shots. Test shots turned out very well. And we've got a stable system that absorbs the vibration extremely well. Well, that's it. It's a simple, inexpensive mount for your video camera, for your bow. It's easy to do, and it does a really good job of dampening the vibration. I hope it works for you.